Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to yet another tutorial video and in this video we're going to show you how to speed test your miracle box. Now let's talk about why you would really want to speed test before you hook it up to a location in your home. Well some of you have an internet speed that you're paying for and some of you may have two and three level homes and if you're using Wi-Fi you want to make sure that you're still getting a good signal to your unit. So just because you may be paying for 50 megabytes, if you have your modem on the top floor of your home and you plan on watching TV on the bottom floor of your home, you want to make sure that a signal is able to reach your box. So you want to speed test it. And if you're under 15 megabytes, I wouldn't recommend positioning the box in that location. Also, you want to use it as a way to keep your cable company or your internet provider honest. So if you are plugging in an ethernet cable directly from your modem into this box, you want to make sure that you're getting a speed that you're paying for. And if you're paying for 100 megabytes, but you're only getting 30 and you're plugged straight in, then guess what? The cable company or internet provider has some explaining to do. Lucy, you have some explaining to do. So you want to make sure you're getting what you pay for. So without any further ado, let's run this speed test and we're going to see I want to show you how to get the accurate speed of your unit. So I'm going to press OK to open speed tests. And it's going to find the best server. And you're going to see a yellow button pop up here pretty soon. So now you see the begin test button. But before we go to that, we need to do a little bit of uh, settings first. So we're going to go over to the settings part at the bottom. and if you have a speed remote or if you have a wireless uh, keyboard remote, then you have the ability to use a cursor. If you have the standard remote, you still have a cursor on it. You have to press the cursor and then you have to move or hold the direction area, er, hold the direction, directional keypad that got tongue twisted here into a direction until it pops up just like I did here. So I'm going to do it one more time. Press the cursor, hold it in any direction and you'll see it pop up. And we want to guide the cursor over to the change server location. And I'm going to select it right here. I want to press OK. And basically, when you start your speed test, you want to make sure that it is on the closest server to you. More than likely, the closest server will be your internet provider. So in this case, I wouldn't want to run a speed test using the server from Charlottesville, Virginia, because that's 58 miles away from where I'm running my test at. Plus, it's not my provider. So you wouldn't want to use the other ones either because they're 26 miles away and plus that's not my provider. My provider is actually Comcast and as you see that's zero miles away. And more than likely the server that you're using is going to actually be the provider that you're using. So it's going to pick that up. So again, I got to make sure I got the right server. I have them selected. They're in green. And so I am good to go. So I'm going to press the cursor on my standard remote to get rid of it. And I'm going to scroll back over to speed test. I'm going to press the cursor again. I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to position that cursor right over the yellow speed test button. And it doesn't matter if you have it in the middle or the side, as long as it's on that button so you can press it. We're going to press it. We're going to run our speed test. All right, we're going to see what it says. And I already kind of know what it's going to be. All right, we have 119 over 34 for download. And let's see what we have for upload. All right, so an upload we have 5.95. So the numbers you really want to pay attention to, I'm going to teach you how to read this, is the download because that is going to be the amount of streaming that is going to be allowed. So you want to at least have that thing over 15 megabytes of download. The upload, it doesn't really matter because you're not uploading anything from the box to anywhere. So that part won't matter as much for your streaming entertainment as it does the download. That is going to determine how much speed you have to download and the consistency of your speed to stream. Now I'm going to show you another feature here. We're going to take it off the cursor and we're going to scroll over to results. Now if you look at the results here below, my average speed from this is you can say 119 megabytes and that's kind of what I'm getting you'll see in the middle where I ran a test and I got 21.85 megabytes I'm going to tell you why I got that number well basically what I did was I actually moved the box 
to a different part of my home and that part using Wi-Fi, I wasn't getting as much speed. So when I try to watch 4K Gold movies or whatever, I just noticed that it took a little while to load. So that helped me determine the best spot in my house to move it, which is where I'm at now. And I average 119 megabytes. And that's what you want to do. You want to kind of, you know, really just keep running your speed test and see what your average is. If your average is dropping, it could be something up with your cable provider or your internet provider. So if I got, if I'm getting 109, then it could be something wrong and or they could have put another customer on my Wi-Fi channel which kind of sucks and you know sometimes they do that but in this case it looks like my speed is where it's supposed to be I'm getting what I pay for and everything is okay so ladies and gentlemen I hope this video helped you to be able to run an effective speed test and what we'll do is we're gonna give you more videos and more tutorials coming up make sure you are liking our Facebook page, make sure you subscribe to this channel because when we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away three miracle boxes and we're gonna give them away to our YouTube subscribers, we're gonna give one away to our Facebook subscribers, so you might have a chance to win two. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you are on our Facebook page and you like it. And ladies and gentlemen, we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, peace.